To configure emergency features of our Vochia system, we'll begin by opening the World Properties. You'll find that creating emergency messaging is very similar to creating non-emergency messaging. Emergency messaging is able to be associated with an emergency zone. These messages will begin playing when the system goes into an alarm state. Let's create a couple. Emergency messages can be made up of different elements, which in turn constitute a complete sequence. These form the message that will be played. Here we're going to add an alarm tone, advise that the fire alarm has been activated, and then advise people they should proceed to the right stairs. We can duplicate this sequence, then modify the message to advise the people to use the left stairs instead. This way, depending where the fire is, we can let people to know how to proceed. We'll also create an alarm tone to be used in the car park. Let's create our emergency zones and then our emergency page codes. We're now going to assign the emergency page codes. Now our emergency zones and our emergency page codes have been created, we'll assign the zones to them. Again, save these settings. We'll assign these now to our amplifier outputs. So that our system knows to switch into emergency mode, a physical trigger is necessary. The LSI-16 is able to interface to an external system to inform Vochia that an alarm has occurred, and to begin playing emergency messages. Select the LSI-16E inputs. This section is where we're going to assign physical inputs to trigger a particular message in a particular zone. For this exercise, let's pretend we're wiring our LSI-16E to a fire panel. The fire panel activates a contact closure via relay when it senses a fire. Depending on which relay is activated, this triggers the correct emergency announcement message in Vochia. What I've done here is told the LSI-16E that on receiving a contact closure on channel 1, I want an alarm to be activated. The logic level and logic state specify the type of trigger the alarm should be activated on. Then I specify the emergency zone and the message that should be played. In this example, when channel 1 detects an alarm trigger, it'll direct the people to emergency zone 1 to exit via the left stairs. However, if channel 2 detects an alarm trigger, it's going to advise people to use the right stairs to exit the building. We've now set up an emergency zone to play an emergency message upon sensing an alarm. However, in addition to this, you can use these emergency zones to do live emergency paging. For example, you might want to use this for a fireman's microphone. Or, you can have both, live emergency pages and recorded emergency announcements. To add a live emergency paging device to our system, you'll need to add an emergency paging station. Then just like a normal paging station, you assign the page codes to the physical buttons.